I'm walking across here like it ain't no problem. Hi, welcome to our build. We're up here in Alaska. We got here last year in July and we came to a raw piece of land and started clearing to build a platform so we could put a tent up, which we were gonna live in for the next six to seven weeks while we build a small dry cabin. The tent was quite comfortable. We even put our bed up in there and it was the perfect time of year to be living outside in a tent. We did put a bare fence up just in case. Finally found our area that we wanted to clear to start the build on the property. We've spent two weeks at this point clearing and removing thousands of years of dead brush and trees and once we had that all cleared off and started putting our foundation up, it went pretty quickly. The only hiccup was we had to haul all of this material on our backs all the way back to our building area. With all the water we were seeing, uh, we decided to backfill with pit run and crossed our fingers and it did work. We didn't lift and we didn't heave over the winter. Once the rain started moving in, we decided to take a break from the build and concentrate more on our road. It rained for about a week and a half, which was okay by us. We had been carrying everything on our backs and we needed a small break. So with the road, all the trees that we dropped, we put right on the road, covered it with road fabric and then pit run. This is how a lot of people build their roads up here in Alaska. It keeps your gravel from sinking. Uh, everything is very wet here. This was a game changer. Once this road was put in, we were able to drive back to the house with all of our stuff on the side-by-side -side and stop breaking our backs. The rain had stopped and it was time to get back to the build. We were starting with putting our biggest wall up first. With the sun out, it was time to get back to building and everything moved pretty quickly at this point. This is our front wall, two windows and a door, our back wall. We are southeast facing so we get optimal sunlight coming through the front of the house. We'll see how that works.
the quality of wood that we were getting was terrible and for the price at almost seven dollars a two by four it was not fun to spend the money on it So as we're getting the walls up, I'm looking outside and I start to notice that the fireweed is fully bloomed and turning white and up here in Alaska that usually means winter is upon us and we have about three to four weeks left to get this house built.
Walls are up, windows are in, snow is around the corner, and it is time to start doing the interior. I think we've made it at this point. We're feeling much more comfortable that we will be out of the tent before our first snowfall hits. There's all the wood. This is Beetle Kill. It's uh, blue spruce. The trees that are dying all over the United States, they finally figured out something to do with them. And it's beautiful wood for the interior and costs the same as regular pine tongue and groove. I use the same stain um, that I used on the outside, the dark ebony mahogany on the interior floor, which is also the blue spruce, and it turned out really nice. It looked weathered. This is our yodel stove. We just got done installing it. It has a cooktop. Floors are done, it's about time to start getting our stuff moved in. After staining, we let the house dry out for about two days. Thing came out beautiful. First fire in our stove. We got our bed moved in and a week later we had 18 inches of snow drop on us. The next phase is surviving winter up here which is what I'm going to try and show everything that we went through and things we got accomplished. Come back next time. Thank you for watching.